April 22, 2014, Cook Strait, New Zealand. British endurance swimmer Adam Walker is halfway through a 16-mile swim. The water's rough and the cold's freezing, but to Adam, this isn't the real threat. The real threat's just six feet below him. A large shark, possibly a great white, is gliding beneath like a shadow with teeth. But with no other option, he keeps swimming, too afraid to stop and too exposed to fight back. If the shark alone isn't enough, out of nowhere, a pod of around 10 dolphins rushes towards him head on. While this might look like Adam's fate is sealed, this was actually what ultimately saved him. The dolphins start forming a tight circle together, with Adam right in the center of it. For over an hour straight, the dolphins didn't break formation. They stayed with Adam until nearly the finish line, where he was interviewed saying, And I felt very, very secure because of the dolphins. I felt like they were my mates and I was part of the pod. Maybe they thought I was a wounded mammal or something and they came to, to support me. And while Adam's story is cute, this isn't the only case of dolphins acting as bodyguards against sharks for humans. In 2004, Rob Howes, a lifeguard in New Zealand, was out for a swim with his 15-year-old daughter and two of her friends. It was a perfect day. The water was calm. They were just offshore enjoying themselves when suddenly a pod of chaotic dolphins appeared. They surrounded the group, slapping their tails on the surface. They formed a tight circle with no gaps and no way out or in. Any time one of the swimmers drifted too far, the dolphins gently but firmly pushed them back into the center. For nearly 40 minutes, the dolphins held that formation and Rob couldn't understand why until he spotted a 10 feet great white shark swimming near them. When the shark finally gave up, the group swam hundreds of meters back to shore. This event wasn't just their word, it was confirmed by a lifeguard, Matt Fleet, who saw the whole incident and confirmed the presence of a shark and the dolphins encircling the humans. Rob and Matt both said the water was very clear, giving them a good view of the shark. Now, two separate incidents a decade apart. Two large sharks, two pods of dolphins. Same outcome, the sharks backed off. Which brings us to the serious question. In any normal fight, a great white would absolutely dominate dolphins. 5,000 pounds and 4,000 PSI bite force compared to 300 pounds and the ability to shoot water out of its head. Why would some of the ocean's most feared predators retreat from animals that are less than one-tenth of their weight? How are they able to intimidate the shark so much that it won't even attempt to attack? And why do dolphins of all creatures seem willing to protect us when we're in danger? Millions of years ago, during the Eocene Epoch, the ocean bore witness to the rise of two very different apex predators. Sharks, the solitary assassins, and dolphins, the social strategists. Sharks evolved for ambush as lone hunters, silent and streamlined, equipped with rows of serrated teeth and bone-crushing jaws. Evolution shaped them into torpedoes of death, capable of striking quickly and vanishing into the depths. Dolphins, however, took a different route. They leaned into community, thriving in tight-knit pods bound by communication, coordination, and tactical intelligence. When danger looms, dolphins don't scatter. They form ranks, they fight back. Despite the vastness of the oceans, clashes between these two predators were inevitable. Over millennia, dolphins repeatedly outmaneuvered, harassed, and took out sharks. These encounters turned into lessons that reshaped the shark's behavior, not consciously, but genetically. Through countless incidents and natural selection, a fear response began to take hold. At first glance, it may seem strange. Dolphins are smaller, not as powerful, and don't have the same reputation as sharks for being cold-blooded killers. But really, has anyone ever seen a lion ask for its dinner nicely? Or a cheetah? jogging after its prey, or a croc waiting for its turn. Ask yourself, do predators ever play fair? Same happens in the oceans. If dolphins are on top of sharks, there are a bunch of solid reasons behind it. Now, we can't go back millions of years to track what really happened, but some recent encounters showed just how brutal 
a dolphin versus shark battle can be. On May 28, 2024, along the shores of South Africa's Eastern Cape, marine biologist Alison Towner documented a massive 4.5-meter great white shark devouring a dolphin. With just four swift bites, it had completely consumed its meal. But before the shark could even digest its prey, it was ripped apart. Its mangled body washed up on the beach, its liver gone. A telltale sign of an orca attack. And that meal? A nearly two-meter common dolphin was so neatly severed that marine experts were able to reconstruct its body after it was extracted from the now dead shark. You might be wondering, what does this have to do with sharks being afraid of dolphins? Well, to a shark, a lone dolphin is an easy snack. Quick, soft-bodied, and not too large. Basically, fast food with flippers. That poor dolphin that got folded into four neat bites, it never stood a chance. But dolphins, at least the smart ones, learned long ago that they're no orcas. They don't have the size, strength, or power to face a shark alone. Realizing they weren't built to take on sharks alone, dolphins started to form pods because sometimes the best defense is teamwork. And when threatened, dolphins don't just defend, they hunt. They launch coordinated attacks, targeting soft bellies with their snouts. Using speed, agility, and mobbing tactics, they disorientate their prey, overwhelming it with precision. With their streamlined, torpedo-shaped bodies, dolphins are more agile and slice through water faster than most sharks. Their flukes, the horizontal tail fins that move up and down, offer explosive propulsion. This vertical motion allows for rapid acceleration and sharp turns. Sharks, however, rely on side-to-side -side tail movement. While effective for straight-line bursts of speed, their rigid bodies and stiff tails limit agility making tight turns and quick pivots difficult, even for elite predators like the Great White. When it comes to speed, dolphins can hit 37 miles per hour at full sprint. A Great White maxes out at 25 miles per hour, or 40 kilometers per hour. And as sweet as they may seem, dolphins have unmatched stamina, which gives them a sustained speed and a relentless edge in a fight. This is when the real fights start. Once a shark gets tired, dolphins don't just hit. They unleash a constant barrage, striking weak points without pause. Their ability to change direction at high speed keeps sharks on edge, making it nearly impossible for them to land a solid blow. Dolphins are a tireless force, and combined with cognition and intelligence, they turn into a powerhouse. With an intelligence second only to humans and one of the largest brain-to-body mass ratios of any mammal, dolphins possess the ability to solve problems, make decisions and communicate in ways that sharks simply can't match, hence why dolphins are much more collaborative. But it's not just intelligence that makes dolphins a threat. Their echolocation, sending out sound waves to create mental maps, lets them detect sharks before they even get close. Sharks relying on electroreception are no match for this advanced sonar-like system. With quick vocal signals and gestures, the pod coordinates, transforming into a tight-knit tactical unit. They even use tricks, baiting a shark into a trap. Imagine a lone dolphin playing the part of a brave decoy, drawing the shark in while the rest of the pod silently closes in, ready to strike at the perfect moment. When the time comes, they slam their snouts into the shark's soft spots, the gills, the underbelly, hit after hit, leaving the shark staggered and confused. The entire pod surrounds and charges at the shark as one unit with no gaps or escapes for it. This pushes the shark into a desperate fight for survival. And while sharks are undoubtedly powerful predators, they're at a distinct disadvantage when cornered by a dolphin pod, because a snout aimed straight for the kill zones like gills or underbelly means life threat to them. The gills especially are a shark's lifeline. Hit them and everything starts to fail. Swimming becomes a struggle. Hunting, a losing battle. Breathing, nearly impossible. 
Even if the shark escapes, a wounded gill or body makes it a slow-moving target for other predators or the ocean itself. One bad move against a pod could cost the shark more than the fight. It could cost it the ability to swim, breathe, hunt, to live. And while sharks aren't as smart as the dolphins, they know this. Dolphins off the coast of Mississippi have shown proof of their almost evil intelligence. Marine biologist Errol Ronya was on a routine research trip tracking a local pod of dolphins when something strange started bobbing in the waves. Tiny white blobs, dozens of them. As the boat drifted closer, the team realized what they were looking at. Severed catfish heads, dozens, cleanly decapitated. And they weren't just drifting aimlessly. The heads were still moving, eyes flickering, fins twitching. These fish had just lost their bodies minutes ago. There were no sharks, no fishermen, just the pod of dolphins Ronya had been following. And dolphins don't typically eat catfish. In fact, catfish are considered dangerous prey. Their heads are armored with three sharp, stiff spines that can get stuck in a dolphin's throat and kill it. Several dolphins in the Gulf region have been found dead that way, with whole catfish lodged inside their airways. So what gives? As Ronya continued tracking the pod, the evidence mounted. The trail of floating heads lined up perfectly with the dolphin's path. One by one, catfish were being hunted, beheaded, and their spiny skulls tossed aside like trash. The dolphins were behind the whole carnage, and the most shocking part? This wasn't some isolated behavior. Ronya's work, backed by observations from other teams, confirmed that multiple dolphin groups along the Mississippi coast and North Florida were doing the exact same thing. And the technique? It seemed to be spreading, passed from one pod to another by a few traveling individuals. There was innovation in this violence. This head chopping strategy is a workaround, a calculated way for dolphins to enjoy catfish without choking to death on their built-in armor. And dolphins aren't new to this kind of problem solving. In Western Australia, another dolphin population had figured out how to kill octopuses without getting their suckers stuck in their throats. By tossing the octopus into the air repeatedly, slamming it into jelly, they can then eat the limp remains. They're not just cute, squeaky swimmers. They're clever, ruthless, and almost maniacal predators. So, when a shark faces off with dolphins, it's not facing instincts, it's facing strategy. But that begs the question, why do dolphins even bother? They're agile, intelligent, and more than capable of avoiding trouble. So why risk it? Why take on a predator like a shark? Well, the truth is, dolphins don't attack sharks for no reason. In fact, dolphins don't go looking for trouble. But when they encounter a shark, their behavior changes. There are a few main reasons dolphins might target sharks, and it all boils down to their survival. Dolphins, especially those traveling in pods, see sharks as a potential threat. Sharks are opportunistic hunters, and if they sense a weaker or isolated dolphin, they might try to take advantage of that. Dolphins are well aware of this, and when they see a shark coming close to their group, they'll fight back, not just to protect themselves, but to protect the entire pod. But self-defense isn't the only reason dolphins go after sharks. In the ocean, resources like food can be hard to come by, and sharks are known to compete with dolphins for the same prey. Sharks hunt fish, and sometimes that means they're hunting in the same areas where dolphins are. If a shark is lurking too close to where a dolphin pod is feeding, it's not just a predator, it's also a competitor. By attacking a shark, dolphins may be sending a signal, this is our territory and you're not welcome here. In fact, some scientists believe dolphins are more likely to attack sharks when there's a direct competition for food. Dolphins aren't just defending themselves, they're protecting their hunting grounds. If a shark is in the area and threatens to steal a catch, dolphins will likely take action to chase it off. 
But why would a pod of dolphins chase a shark off when it comes to rescuing defenseless Homo sapiens? As much as we love the idea of dolphins as selfless guardians of the sea, researchers have other theories. We can't say for sure why dolphins put themselves at risk for humans, but most experts agree. It ties back to their intelligence and complex social lives. Dr. Denise Herzing, a leading marine mammal researcher, believes their protective behavior is rooted in social instinct. Dolphins live in tight-knit pods where cooperation is survival. When they interact with us, she suggests that they might see us as part of that group as allies. Some biologists also point to evolution. Dolphins evolved alongside predators like sharks. Their brains are wired to detect and react to threats, not just for themselves, but for those around them. That instinct might spill over into how they respond to humans in danger. But the truth? We still don't fully understand why. Maybe we're a curiosity. Maybe we're part of the pod, if only for a moment. Or maybe there's an unspoken code of the ocean. But when looking at what dolphins are capable of, I'm just glad they're usually on our side.